long time to get to 100 sales. I feel like I stepped out of 1973. Hello, welcome to another studio vlog. I this is actually the end of the vlog. I realised I forgot to film any sort of intro. I just went straight into things. But this one's a good one. You want to stick around. Hitting some big milestones. You can see how the craft market went. And what actually sold out in 24 hours in my sale. So please stick around and I hope you enjoy the vlog. Friday night, yeah, I'm going forget how he did me wrong triple crowns packed but i'm all right gonna let myself let go i didn't live up to his standards but he didn't come close to mine i was too much for him to handle yeah right i wasn't his kind of a woman didn't fit into his mold but i I've got all the orders picked now. Everyone gets a freebie. I've got the thank you card out. This is just how I do orders. And now I'll start wrapping them up. Um, I'll stamp some envelopes. We've got like a good selection of things. We've got like bookmark sets. Got a lot of moth magnets going out today. I've got a mystery pack. Got single washi tapes. Like I've got two Celeste ones there. We've got fungi there, we've got a washi tape set plus an extra mushroom one because why not? Uh, we've got sticker packs here, sticker sheets, uh, there's a rose quartz one, more moth magnets, um, a death moth bookmark. I'm actually all out of the lunar moth bookmark and I'm not sure whether to order any more. So I can't offer these as a bundle anymore obviously. This is the bundle of the white moth, the death moth and then I had a green Luna Moth one. I do have some seconds, but they're seconds, so I'm not sure whether to order any more or not in my next bookmark printing order. I, I don't know. just wrapping up some sticker sheets for a giveaway that Emily Harvey's doing as part of the eHearts market which I'll be taking part in in a couple of weeks time so I'm just sorting that out to go out with orders today which I've got some behind me there and I need to pack some more so we're just gonna get on with that just caught the cut off for today's postings. I've also got a um, card reader on charge because I've got a local market tomorrow so I'm just prepping for that and I'll show you some bits and I'm gonna pack up all my stock and I'm gonna try and film and take you along for it tomorrow. I've got a friend coming along I'm not sure what time but otherwise it's just me I'm not sure how busy it's going to be, I think it's going to be quite a quiet one to be honest but and I'm just going to take a little bit of stock, put the boxes in the car today and things like that. There we go, nice and pretty, pretty little bit of happy mail and then start packing the boxes 
Actually, I might have lunch first and then pack the boxes for the craft fair. So I got this off Amazon. It's a toast rack, but we're not using it for toast. We're going to use it, well, we're going to try and use it for sticker sheets. And then if I like it, I'll buy some more. But I think I'm, because obviously I knew with this display that I'd get to a point where I'd have too many designs and they wouldn't fit in properly and I don't want them all squished together too much. I'm going to test them out and see if they fit in all right. Oh, they fit in really nice. Oh my God, that's perfect. And I think this only cost me like four pounds. So I could definitely buy more of them for my new sticker sheets that arrive. Like when I get the next update, I'm going to have a load more new designs. So I need to make space. I'm going to put these in. Look at these. And they all fit in with a bit of room to spare as well in case I do more like in bigger bulk orders but i can fit five in but i know you can buy longer ones as well um but that's such a a more compact space you know so i'm happy with that i also need to prep some bookmarks with this packaging i created i don't know how many to take of each yet um i'll see how full the box is gonna be but yeah it's all systems go at the minute small city thinking everything up uh, this is my stock box and some mushrooms in there got 10 of each thing some I have three of some I have just different amounts depending on what I've got this is decoration and some shelves um, tablecloths you know things like that you can't really see like ivy fairy lights name sign so yeah that's that's like the decor box stock and then this is the bits and bobs box. So I've got some paper bags in here. And then in here is all my bits and bobs. So I've got calculator, like stands. I've got pens, my freebies and business cards, my card reader, things like that. So I just keep that all in there. And I've got an extra basket as a riser on the table. So yeah, I'm going to pop these in the car later. Hello, so it's the next day. Um, I just got dressed, I just had breakfast and I packed the car the night before for the market and I got like any snacks or anything the night before so I'd have less to do on a morning. Um, on the morning, sorry. And I'm ready to go, I think. So I don't know how much filming I'm gonna be able to do. It depends how busy it is, depends how shy I'm feeling. Sometimes I'm feeling confident, sometimes I'm not. But my friend will be coming along at some point as well. I haven't spoken in so long. It feels weird to talk. Because <laughs> I'm on my own at the minute. My husband's away. And I'm just like not walking around not talking for like days. So yeah, let's go. Small city thinking. I get why you left. Small minded people. Sure know how to drink. I came to the party. I left at the joke she made. just sitting behind at the stall but it's really quiet I'll show you it's actually picking up a tiny bit maybe for lunchtime but I just started filming a reel of like things I use as a craft market and things I hope you can hear me yeah I was just filming bits like for behind the scenes for what I take to a market because I thought that might be quite interesting to people and I'll edit that and put that on Instagram 
so my friend just went and bought from this stall here who I just found and she kind of lives close to me and there's our details and she's got some amazing stuff and my friend bought some stuff she gave us this free bookmark each how cute is that I'll leave our details in the video uh, description if you'd like to check out her thing she's got a lot of like fan art things and badges and stuff um, and I also bought uh, a cookie some old school cake this is a British thing old school British cake thing I've had a couple of sales but it's quite quiet Hi guys, so I'm back from the market. It was very quiet, like super, super quiet. I got three sales, so I'm gonna write them on my tracker, um, but hardly anyone got any sales, to be honest. I kind of expected it, so I didn't like make extra stock or things like that, so I put most things away. I still need to count some inventory, but I'm going to get on with doing some um, text on my new planner pad. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong But life can be furious and things can go wrong You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow but who knows So today, it's all systems go, I'm just sorting out some mystery packs of my old seconds stock Like oopsie things and things of different materials like I've got some gloss ones here that I never put up for sale that I was just testing. Some bookmarks, they're all seconds, but I don't wanna put tassels and package them all cause they're just oopsies that I want to sell in bundles. There's some random stickers here that some have misalignments, some don't, but the rest of the pack did. So they just all got thrown into the seconds box. I've got some magnets here from testing. Um, I've got some seasonal stock old stock just things like that so these will be sold in big packs like these i've got 12 of them that i'm just putting together now and just deciding on the price and things and doing the photography i finished up doing the mystery packs and photographing them and i've even got some that are like little tiny ones from when i was testing out different sizes a while ago and I've got different materials like seasonal ones from Christmas and like Halloween ones and um, that I don't people like all year this one's glossy and I've never saw glossy ones it was a test but I didn't want to just let them sit there I've got a lot up for sale for £9.99 each um, I've sold two and I've got 10 packs left, which I've got down here. Um, this one is earmarked for Sam. Um, she asked for a snowman sticker, so we're gonna say yes to that. And I've got my I've got my oopsie stickers ready and they look like this and they're really cute. And it's just a good way not to waste that old stock. It makes room for the new stock for the summer shop update. I just wanted to document this, but I literally just hit 1,000 sales on Etsy. I'm so happy. And these Oopsie Mystery Mega Packs helped me to get there these past couple of days. And I've only actually got one left now. And I, I just can't believe it. I hit 1,000 sales. I've hit... 34 sales. I didn't even think I would get to 30 because I just thought it was going to be a quiet month. And now I'm at 34 and I've got the eHearts market next weekend. I don't think I'm going to get to 50, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. There's no harm in trying. And I'm just, I'm just so happy. This means I have to start working on my own website shop now, which is going to be difficult to do. I was I thought I would hit a thousand sales later on in the year and it would give me a bit of time to make my own Shopify and I don't know whether to do the next shop update in line with the website or not. Um, I probably should but I'm so excited. So the past couple of days has been crazy. Um, I put up the seconds for sale and I sold out of all 12 packs 
in less than 24 hours, which is just insane. I'm gonna pack them all up today, but it also took me over 1,000 sale, which has been a goal of mine. Um, and once I got to that goal, I was gonna start work on my Shopify website and have my own shop, as well as Etsy for international, so Etsy's not going anywhere. It's, it's crazy. I did not think those packs would sell out in a day. I had people asking afterwards, have you got any of those packs left? I know bundles do really well. Um, they were oopsie bundles, so they were the oopsie stock that's gone. The majority, two of the orders didn't have it on. It's been really hard work to get to this point. It's not easy. It took me a long time to get to 100 sales, a long time before Swirly Nicks was in like the way it is now. Um, I was just selling art prints for the first year and not really getting anywhere, like a sort of a false start. But I started Swirly Nicks as it is now in September 2022. So about eight, nine months ago. I don't think I had 100 sales then. So I've gained ni over 900 sales in the past nine months. And that has just slowly crawled up, I think. The branding has helped, um, the branding on Etsy, I try to keep it cohesive, I try and keep the photos clear, fill all 10 slots on Etsy, fill the video slot, description, but I bring in most of my own traffic so I couldn't tell you anything really about Etsy SEO, but growing on Instagram has helped a lot um, in get, gaining more sales with every shop update and this hasn't been a shop update, this has just been a sale, but the next shop update will be June, I don't know whether to do the shop website for the update or after it it's a lot of work and i am away at the start of june but i'll probably leave my shop on etsy open and just extend processing times so i just can't believe i hit a thousand sales i just never thought i'd get to this point so we're gonna pack the orders that i got in the past couple of days from the sale i've got 14 to pack plus the giveaway i ran for the Hitting 2,000 followers on Instagram, of which I'm already over 2,200 now, which is insane. It's really raining outside. It's a very rainy, cosy morning. I've still got a lot of design work to do. I'm also rebranding, ready for the next update and website. There's going to be a lot of changes, but in a good way. I've been wanting to change my logo for a long time. Just sort of tweak it a bit to look more like how I always wanted it and envisioned and just wasn't sure the direction to go and um, so I've been working on that and I'll be rebranding everything over the next few weeks. I'm gonna get the planner pads finished and sent away, work on more stickers and work on my Shopify as well so yeah let's get on with packing the orders. I'm just hiding the addresses there with that one. It's got so many and it's taking me ages, but I'm so grateful for all these sale orders going out. Um, I did also want to show you my order from Rebel Jones Design arrived from Beck. So I got this cute little uh, art print. Like it's a thank you card, but it's so cute. I'm gonna put that on my wall. It's like a peachy juice. And I got this sticker, which has like a shine to it of this little Polaroid camera. That can go in my scrapbook. I got this freebie sticker as well. I got this froggy sticker sheet. How cute is that? All for my scrapbook. So thanks, Beck. I love it all.
I've also made, because I've got an online market next weekend, um, but I'll be editing this vlog before that market, so that'll be in the next vlog. But I wanted to do an exclusive sticker, so this is the, hang on, the green lunar moth, which is really popular and I think it's very pretty. But the market is hosted by Emily Harvey Art and her brand colours are like lilac and gold. So I thought I would do a lilac moth design for the weekend. When this goes live, the market will be on. If you're catching this on the day the video goes live, you'll be able to get one of these in every order. Um, going to be free in every order, I think, anyway. I really like how they've turned out. Let me know if you think they're pretty. They're printed on a glitter silhouette white paper. No lamination or anything. Yeah, and they've cut out really nicely. Right, now, you may be questioning, why are you dressed like that? I'm going to an ABBA night out tonight. It's Friday night. Uh, it's an ABBA, ABBA bingo night. And it's, there's prizes for best dress, but I've decided to channel my inner bohemian 70s look. So I've even got some sunglasses as well. Um, and also, I just wanted to say, it, I'm so happy that I hit a thousand sales this week. It's been amazing, it's been hard work, and tonight I'm gonna celebrate. Hopefully I can win some bingo. And also the clothing I've got, I used business money, profit, to buy the clothes and pay for the night out, and that's the first time I've ever done that. I actually took some of the money for me, as a little pat on the back for hitting a thousand sales. I'm sorry if you didn't hear the hair dryer, my husband's drying his hair. And I'm just so excited. I've, I've packed and posted a lot of orders today. They went out earlier today. It's been a lot of hard work to get to a thousand Etsy sales, but now we can concentrate on the website shop and doing it over Shopify, of which I'll talk to you about as I do it. Um, so I just wanted to show you my outfit. I feel like I stepped out of 1973. Um, and I'm gonna go out with the girlies and celebrate using some of the money for myself. Um, so yeah, let's <laughs> go. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Um, I actually haven't asked this in a while on my vlogs, but please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you like what I do. Check out my other videos, it will be appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, swirlies.